Hey guys, what's up? Kristen here. I'm so excited to be with you today to draw these awesome little hedgehogs. All right, and if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw one hedgehog together, and then I'm gonna show you how to draw all the different ones, at least the faces, and then we'll add the spines to all of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to start our first hedgehog, and then I'll show you the rest. Oh, and make sure you stick around to the end. I have so many cool fun facts about hedgehogs, you'll definitely want to hear them all. Now that I have all my colors out, let's go ahead and start drawing on our first one. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so it's easier for you guys to see. All right, let's get going. So for our first one, we have a simple silhouette. Now let's just add on a couple of the features. I'm going to speed things up around here just a little bit and go from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and now pink. How easy was that? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw all the different bodies and heads and then we'll have fun with our rainbow colors next. Go ahead and give this first face a try on your own. It's pretty easy shapes. We're going to be using a lot of the same ones over and over. Our noses are always pointy, our bellies round, and little U's for the feet and the arms and the ears. And don't forget that nose. Okay, this cutie guy, we're gonna give him a very simple face. Just follow along the best you can, guys. So what I'm gonna do here is as you guys continue, I'm gonna give you fact number one about these cute little hedgehogs. Are you ready? Did you know that a group of hedgehogs is called an array? But it doesn't come up much, since hedgehogs are solitary creatures who usually come together only to mate. Oh, and did you know that hedgehogs are illegal in some parts of the United States? The hedgie has gained popularity as a pet, but some cities and states will qualify them as wild animals, which are not allowed to be kept domestically. These include Arizona, California, Georgia, Hawaii, Pennsylvania, New York City, and Washington, D.C. In some areas like Maine, you need permits in order to own one. Did you know that a hedgehog has between 5,000 and 7,000 quills, or spines. Muscles along the animal's back can raise and lower the quills to respond to threatening situations. Oof, can you imagine stepping on one? Ouch! I've always thought this was a fun little fact about hedgehogs. Do you know how they got their name? Well, it's based on their habitat. They love to reside in garden hedges and I guess they make pig-like grunts. Get it? Garden hedge, hedgehog, like a grunt, hedgehog. Awesome job, guys. We're already ready to add on our rainbow quills. Let's super speed things up around here. Just follow along the best you can. And remember, have fun with it. All right, and I only have a couple more facts about hedgehogs. Did you know there used to be such a thing as the International Hedgehog Olympic Games? They called it IHOG. The events included sprints, hurdles, and floor exercises. I kind of want to go find a video of that. That sounds funny. Don't you think? All right, and this is my last little fun fact about hedgehogs. Can you imagine how little their legs are? They must be, I don't know, quarter to a half an inch. But when hedgehogs are out to forage at night, they can travel up to two miles. That's a long way for those little legs. When's the last time you ran two miles? And think of how long it took you. Imagine if you had itty bitty baby little legs. Well guys, I had the best time teaching you how to draw these little hedgies. They are so fun and colorful and I have a feeling you'll be drawing them all the time once you learn. Oh yeah, and if you want to be featured in our next video, all you have to do is take a picture of your art and either tag us on Instagram or Facebook or send us an email with it. We'd love to put your picture in our next video. I hope you guys had so much fun hanging out with me. You know I did. So I hope to see you soon. And yeah, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. 
can't wait to see you next time, guys. Bye.